Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of uh, Movies and Games I Bought Recently. It's been a while, so let's get to it. I just bought a couple games and a couple movies. One digital, actually. The first one I'm going to show you right now is The Last of Us Digital Download. Just like that. Whenever you buy a digital download of anything for the PS4, this is what you get right here. And I already, pro I already got the code, so don't expect that I'm trying to give it away, but this is pretty much what it would look like if you got the, the code for the game. But it's very nice to, to finally get it on the PS4, because the PS3, um, it's, it's nice. It's just not, it doesn't look as good as the, the PS4 version. There's a huge difference. The 60 frames per second is much, much better, much smoother for a game like this. So I would totally recommend it. It was like 20 bucks. Why not? Actually, this game was on sale for 15 at one point, but I got it for 20 because the guy at Amazon fucked up, so he gave me a he gave me a bonus for it. So, Last of Us Online. Oh, oh my gosh, this thing is about 50 gigabytes, I think, 50 or 60. I'm not too sure, but it's a huge download. So make sure you get a you have enough room for this. Next up, right here, got Batman, Arkham Knight. This is an amazing game. I freaking love this game. Like, I I did not believe that Rocksteady can make a game any better than Arkham City, but they flat out knocked it out of the park with this one right here. Uh, the Batmobile is so <laughs> it's so much fun to use it. Like, you're just running around like 200 miles per hour just crashing into shit. And it's kind of weird because, like, if you hit, like, a goon or something or a thug off the street, he's going to freaking... He's going to get electrocuted. He doesn't die, which doesn't make too much sense, but, you know, who cares? Just uh, be careful knocking out some of the, the green guys who withhold Riddler information and whatnot. But here's the back right here. And uh, Scarecrow, of course, right in the back. He's kind of like the main villain. Second to that is the Arkham Knight himself. No spoilers or nothing, but um, you kind of... When you're playing through a game like this, I'm already, like, done with this game. Almost, but... When you get through the point of the story, it kind of gets to that point where you're like, okay, I kind of know who this is. It's it's kind of a dead giveaway a little bit, but no spoilers or nothing, but the story is very, very good. So I totally recommend this game. Totally worth it. Uh, Batman looks fucking amazing in this game. So you got to pick this up. And uh, the fighting mechanics and whatnot are silky smooth, uh, totally original storyline, everything. Everything you ever asked for. Even the riddles are much better in here. Much more engaging. And up next, let's see. Oh, I got The Sims. Sims 3 on the PS3. Um, we actually had this for a while, but let a friend borrow it. He gave it back. Well, borrow it back, I guess. But I don't know. Decided to play Sims 3 because I don't I don't really like playing on PC. And it's so much harder on the on the on the PS3 controls. I don't know. I guess I should have just uh Played it on the PC, but you know, whatever. It's uh, it was only like ten bucks or something. It's not even a bad buy. Yeah, you already know what else Sims is all about. Here's Plants vs Zombies, Garden Warfare. This is a really cool game. Totally fun. It's just like the Call of Duty games, except you know, Plants vs Zombies with Garden Warfare as a title. Um, it's not a first person shooter. It's actually a third person shooter. And for anyone that's never really seen gameplay of it, it's it's basically like Call of Duty, but as a um, plants and zombies pun. Like instead of like an airstrike, you get corn strikes or uh, <laughs> or uh, predator missiles or vegetable mis missiles in here. I don't know. It's really weird, but yeah, this game is a lot of fun. I totally recommend it if you want silly um, style Call of Duty gameplay without the frustration either. It's actually quite fun. I don't really care if I die or not. Because that's not what it's all about. This game is just straight up fun. And I know it's been a while since uh, this this has actually come out. But I actually recently picked this up. And it's actually a lot a lot of fun. I know, I know I don't actually show the inside of this. But, you know, here's the disc. And I would usually... I would usually show like a booklet or something. But they don't seem to care anymore for booklets. Because now it's just black and white. You see that? There's nothing special about this anymore. I miss, like, artwork for, for video games to come in the case, but not anymore. Not, it's just even black and white. They don't even bother coloring it. What's wrong with that? Same thing as these two right here. See, I don't know. I actually... Hold on. 
Sorry, I'm not trying to be too noisy. Oh, the disc isn't even in here because I'm still playing it. But this is pretty much what you get right here. Some download codes. And that's about it. Just some download codes. Which I already redeemed, of course. But um, I'm st I, I really miss that still. I'll try to be gentle. Because I had the, the Yeti here. Can't be too loud. There's the Blu-ray version of The Raid Redemption. I had to pick this up. I needed to see this movie for myself. And what I think so far is uh, the fight. The fights in here are, you know, top-notch, like, pretty badass. You know, there, there, there's a story, but, you know, who cares about the story? It's about a guy going up flights of stairs. Every every um, floor has a bunch of guys that beat the crap out of it. And this guy right here just does the job. And a few other cops, but this guy right here, he's the main guy right there. This is actually a pretty damn good uh, martial arts film. From uh, Malaysia, I think. I think it's in Malaysia. Yeah, it's from Malaysia. But uh, totally recommend it if you like uh, action um, Hong Kong style movies but from a bun bunch of Malaysian guys. Totally worth it. Uh, really, uh, really brainless uh, um, storyline. There's not really much going on. It's just guys fighting every floor. But here's the back. See, you already see this guy getting punched in the freaking face and throat. Yeah. I don't know if there's a digital... Oh, here we go. And for uh, for a little giveaway, I'm actually going to give away this movie, The Raid Redemption, right here. Here's the code. Go ahead and redeem it. Give it a watch, guys. Totally worth it. Just, uh, you know... Say in the comments or something that you actually redeem the codes because I noticed that no one's actually saying anything. So please give it a mention. Come on. It's not just one little comment. That's all I want. Okay, Full Metal Jacket. One of the funniest but most depressing movie uh, Stanley Kubrick has made. Uh, freaking, oh my God. Uh, what, what, what's this guy's name? Uh, Lee something. I know Adam Baldwin's in here. Adam Baldwin being uh, from uh, uh, Serenity, Firefly. Uh, Lee, Lee Ermey? Yeah, I guess that's his, na that's his name. Lee Ermey? Uh, it's this guy right here. You already know, he's the, the drill instructor. He, sp he spits out some of the funniest lines ever said in film. My gosh, I was rolling on the floor laughing what this guy was saying. First 40, 45, 50 minutes of this film, you're just... You're <laughs> You're just like sucked into this guy's insults and breaking down this one poor, poor bastard uh, he calls um, Gomer or, or no, not Gomer, uh, Pro Pile, Gomer Pile, I think that's what he calls him. I don't know. He's just all over this guy. Like he can't do anything. He can't do pull-ups. He can't run. He can't even follow instructions. He makes him eat a jelly donut in front of his uh, other, um, other uh, Marines or whatever they were training. And they made him like exercise, like in the middle, like the, the the middle of the night. They were about to go to bed, and this guy's like just sitting there eating a donut. It, it's really insulting, and you start feeling really bad for this guy. But I totally recommend if you haven't seen Full Metal Jacket, you have to watch this film. Totally, totally one of the crazy craziest film that Stanley Kubrick has ever directed. So if you haven't seen it, do it. And well, there's no code for it, but I would have given it away. Like I said, give this a watch. Don't miss out on it. Last but not least, The Road Warrior. Recently I watched Mad Max The Road Warrior, the newest film that's come out from uh, George Miller. And holy crap, th that movie was fucking amazing. I wanted to get it on Blu-ray next time when it's cheaper. Because right now it's a little expensive, but I know I will pick it up. But this is what got me into The Road Warrior. I know there was a first one, but the second one's so much better. It feels more like the wasteland, more apocalypsy, I guess, if that's even a word. But this, this right here is what the movie was all about. Car crashes, car chases, and pretty much both. The blend of both. And Mel Gibson does, does a phenomenal job. Um, even though he doesn't say much, but he fits the part of this silent um, loner, I guess. He only, he only had like a dozen lines of dialogue in this movie, so... It, it's not like it was that hard to be that guy. Uh, not much going inside. Just black disc. Nothing in there. Nothing special. Uh, special features is commentary by George Miller. 
and cinematographer Dean Semler. And that's about it. They don't really have a lot of uh, special features in this film. No making of, no nothing. But totally worth it. If you have never seen The Road Warrior, you have to watch this as well. I recommend this right here. If you have seen Mad Max, then this is the one that started it all. The, the stunts in here were way, way more risky. Like, there was a part in there where this guy was actually supposed to hit the side of this, like, flipped over car. But he hit it at the wrong angle where it hit both his legs. Hit it hit the side of the car and he went flying over like he just did like like two front flips and it, even though it looked cool he broke both his legs doing that so George Miller put it in the film and what you see on film is what happened he <laughs> the poor guy broke both his legs so <laughs> right here the stunt guys did a phenomenal job in here they almost died for this film so you got to give this one credit for being from 1981 I think 1981 yeah, 1981. You see that? And, well, that's it for uh, movies and games, but I actually have one more thing. An unboxing of uh, Borderlands. Uh, fancy gentleman claptrap. We actually got this for a few bucks. I think it was like 10 bucks from Barnes & Nobles. My wife is actually a fan of this guy. So, we're going to unbox this real quick. Let's just see take it out of the box I'm not gonna spend too long on this but all right here's the box here I never keep him in here because you know they take up too much room and someone honked the horn bastards here's what we could have gotten but gentlemen claptrap is all what it's about let's take him out right here and here's the here's the little guy it's got a little mustache, top hat. The paint job's okay. Could have been a lot better, but he actually stands on his actual wheel. He's a little top heavy, so we can't really put him anywhere high up in the air. He's got his monocle right there. He's got a little antenna. And his back. He's nicely detailed, actually. But unfortunately, he doesn't really roll. Just like that. We'll put them up with our, oh, well, see? We can't really put them up anywhere besides, like, down there with our other uh, Funko figures, which, unfortunately, they're all, like, top-heavy like that. But anyways, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time pretty soon. And watch out for a new review that I'm going to be coming out next week. See ya.